How are you gonna love somebody if you don't love your own self? You might be in a position where someone else wish they were in that position as well. So it's like, do you even know what your life is gonna turn into in two years? If you wanna know why I actually cut my hair, stay tuned to the end of the video. off camera because honestly speaking just doing this took me a minute and normally like i've been getting the hang of my eyebrows but since i'm about to film my eyebrows want to act up so we are going to get started and get straight into the video so the first topic that i wanted to talk about is my self-healing journey and you know self-healing can be a lot of things especially letting go of things that's been done to you that part because i feel like a lot of people fake do that they act like oh you know i've been healed um i've let go of stuff but then you are portraying what somebody did to you on somebody else let me say that again you're portraying what somebody did to you on somebody else for me <laughs> it's a process because i had to go through it myself my mother's calling me hold on so where was i even like i just got completely thrown off oh letting go of things that's been done to you i mean like initially when with my process that i went through with letting go of certain things that was done to me i'm gonna go in with the elf poreless putty primer i letting go of things that's been done to you i feel like a lot of times we fake pretend to do that and you will find yourself in the same situation if you're fake pretend acting like you're good and then all of a sudden you get like so depressed you think you're okay you think you're healing but you're fake pretending to heal and then the next thing you know you're back to being really sad and thinking about the situation that you were in. Once you do that though, I, I feel like it's a very slow progress of learning to heal within yourself. For me, that process took almost three years. I think two and a half years, almost three years. You take it a day at a time. When you are feeling low, I think you allow yourself to feel low. Don't push away the feelings or the emotions that you have when you think about the things that people have done wrong to you even with friends like it's not what i'm saying is not just about relationships it's about friendship man i had something happen to me last year we're not even going to talk about it where a friend took it to the extreme the the crazy part about that situation for me was that i wasn't even mad at her for what she did all i just needed from her was communication and i was not about to kiss no damn ass because you know you were in the wrong <laughs> all you had to do was like i need space to process it she didn't even need to apologize to, um, about what happened, but she didn't do that. And I never heard from her again and till this day, I lied, she called. She called, but I missed her call. I tried to call her back, but she was on some, I don't even know, type of thing. I like to put this on my face because I just love blush. If you know the TikTok hack, you know. If you don't, you don't. I also have a video doing this hack on my page and where I try UK girls makeup hack so this is i've been doing this ever since i found that out also let's just get rid of the elephant in the room i <laughs> completely like just started the video just ranting but yeah y'all i cut off my hair my natural beautiful thick hair is gone and that's okay funny enough this hair is growing back and i'm 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 ready to just cut it all off because it's not giving it's it's really not getting i loved it when it was completely bald but yeah if you haven't seen my previous video i have my big chop i'll link it down in the description below it'll also be in the cards go check it out this video is doing so well. i really appreciate you guys for watching it and you know leaving cute comments about how it fits my face i've been getting so many compliments on it but that's the whole point of this video so if you want to know why i actually cut my hair stay tuned to the end of the video but let's 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 Go back to this makeup so the contour i'm using next is morphe contour stick in the shade effect 19. and i don't put the contour sticks directly on my face i use a brush anyway so yeah with my friend doing me wrong it was like having a good heart and healing from certain things that thing didn't that situation did not affect me as much as i i didn't allow it to affect me as much and as you grow i think you pick and choose what situations like uh, um affect you and mind you this was somebody that was really really close to me this is how i apply my contour this makeup is so quick y'all so bear with me it's very quick this is how i do my face now with um with my new my new hairstyle wink wink hairstyle 
Another thing I want to discuss apart from self-healing is finding self-love. Self-love is a journey in its own thing. And it's a journey where you don't even stop. It's not like, oh, once you get to a certain point in your life, you found self-love. I am using the Born This Way concealer, the shade Toffee. It's a bit golden, but I like it. But yeah, self-love is, I think, a, a forever journey that does not stop at all. Because you find yourself a little bit, take a break, you enjoy yourself in that moment. And then the older you get, you continue to find yourself more and more and more. And recently, I kind of went through that. Even with this haircut, but even before this haircut, I went through just a self-love journey of loving myself, not wanting attention from people, not relying on people um, for love. I think that is, whoo, something major, man. Like, going through my first relationship taught me a whole lot of lessons. And one of the lessons was, like, I actually need to take time away from being with somebody to learn about myself because honestly speaking how are you gonna love somebody if you don't love your own self let me say that one more time how are you gonna love somebody if you don't love your own self like how are you gonna show love to somebody else without even showing love to your own self and i think that's a lot of things a lot of people in our generation kind of miss i am using the nars um sheer glow foundation in the shade iguaku this is my forever go-to i'm really gonna love other people or love someone in a relationship when you haven't even found love within yourself and that's such a big statement because a lot of people, including myself, get into a relationship. I'm not in a situation. You get into a relationship, start having these problems, and when it's like the relationship does not work, it's hard for you to detach yourself um, because you have attached yourself to that person in the sense that they showed you love and without them at some point you start thinking without them like dang I'm gonna be depressed like I can't make it in life but self-love is a personal journey and is different to, for everybody like everybody goes through that journey differently and I'm gonna share my journey so far with self-love oh, do y'all see that it's been an amazing, it's been a beautiful journey within myself. I mean, I continue to go through it. It's not like I'm done going through it, like I said. But I continue to go through it and you learn a lot about yourself. You learn things that you need to change about yourself. You learn things that you love about yourself that you never even recognize about yourself. You learn your weaknesses, you learn your strength. Just a whole lot, you learn a whole lot. One of the things I think people struggle with is how to do it like, and one thing for me <laughs> truthfully speaking was finding things that bring me joy like finding things that genuinely brings me happiness like things that i can do by myself without anybody that brings me happiness that was <laughs> that was it for me that was one of the things not all, everything but one of the things was definitely finding things that brought me happiness. And I realized that I have a lot of hobbies or a lot of things within myself that I'm good at that I never knew I would be good at. One of the things that bring me happiness, if y'all haven't noticed, is creating content. Let me tell you, creating content is not for the weak. It's not something that is easy. You really truly have to have the passion for it or else you think it's like work because this, it's <laughs> constant. Is you have to be creative. I don't know. You have to put a lot of time and effort into it, but I thoroughly enjoy it. I'm learning more about fashion. I recognize that things that I buy that I wear, <laughs> people like. And I continue to find ways to build my sense of fashion or things that I enjoy wearing. And that's another hobby I'm forming on, on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Instagram at it's just Araba. Yeah, I also create fashion content. That's something fairly new. Um, makeup, obviously, is something I've been doing for a while now. But yeah, that hobbies, finding hobbies, things that you love doing. And it don't even have to be hobbies. It can be something as simple as people. Being around people that just genuinely bring you happiness and laughter. Like I have, I have two friends actually. One is Hillary, my friend Hillary. When I'm around her, it's literally straight vibes. Like we just banter and laugh and talk mess and all kinds of thing. And just being around her just makes me just genuinely happy. Finding people with good vibes, definitely learning about yourself. I think also unraveling past trauma is part of a self-love journey. Sometimes we don't really know the things that hold us back as people. Set in power, I am gonna go in with the Fit Me. Uncovering past traumas, I think sometimes 
we have traumas or things that has happened to us that we haven't even recognized that is affecting us so just uncovering that learning that about yourself learning why you act the way you do and also another thing i want to talk about is talking positive about yourself we are so harsh on ourselves sometimes including myself i am sometimes really really harsh on myself for no dang reason but what you say about yourself what you say in your head about yourself what you physically say out loud about yourself can can affect you a whole lot like if you sit in here talking trash about yourself all day i think you're going to be feeling good about yourself but if you're, you are here praising yourself acknowledging the good things about yourself the positive things about yourself then you're going <laughs> you're going to find yourself one thing that i did not realize about self-love is Forming routines, man. Routines have and continue to change my life. So I used to have, I used to work at night, and I formed a routine at the beginning of last year, which made me lose 25 pounds. Where I used to just go to the gym Monday through Friday, like faithfully go to the gym. After work, I would get off work at like 3:30 in the morning, 1:30 in the morning. I would stay up to 5 o'clock and go to the gym. 5 o'clock, go to the gym at 5. So when I started my daytime job, I was like, oh, I want to go to the gym at 5 o'clock instead of going at night because it gets so busy at night. And for a while, I could not do it until I really just made up my mind like, yo, if you got to sleep early to wake up early to do to do it, then you got to do what you got to do. Sometimes I even go to bed late, but I formed routines. I formed different kinds of routine. I think the one that's currently most important to me is my gym routine creating routines for yourself is something so important it puts you in a good space and in a good place to me honestly i'm gonna continue to do this and then we'll come back and discuss more So I think one thing I wanted to mention last, not comparing ourselves, like you on this self love journey or you claim you're on this self love journey, but you sit here and you compare yourself to other people on the internet that you see. Knowing dang well, you don't know what the heck they're going through in person. You can see the most successful person in the world, but you don't even know what they're physically going through in person, yet you're sitting here comparing yourself to them. And I think that, <laughs> we need to stop comparing ourselves like we need to stop comparing our success to other people including myself and i say we because i'm not perfect either sometimes i i try to prevent myself from doing that but sometimes i'm caught in trying to compare myself and my success especially trying to grow as an individual as a content creator on social media you these days you see people posting like people my age i'm 23 years old people my age posting themselves millions of dollars or having all these money or even people younger than me having all this money but it's like I, I personally believe in god and one thing i try to tell myself is god's timing is the best trust in god's process and everything that he has planned for me so I try to stay away from comparing myself because it really can be the thief of joy um, i am pretty sure everyone has something that they can celebrate about themselves something that they've done successful up until this point in their life so you also might be in a position where somebody else wish they were in that position as well let me say that one more time you might be in a position where someone else wish they were in that position as well so don't even be comparing yourself to these people now it's amazing that people are where they are in life but you also have your own journey that you have to focus on you sit there and you're dwelling on people's success now you can use people's success as a point of motivation and inspiration don't get me wrong but don't sit there and be so harsh on yourself thinking dang i'm 25 i'm 26 i'm 23 and i haven't gone anywhere in this life i haven't made this amount of money yet i see people peers or people I see people um, my age making this amount of money. It's like, do you even know what your life is going to turn into in two years, three years, five years? I saw this post this morning that just basically summarized what I am saying. It talked about what age they started becoming successful. And some of these people, they didn't even start till they were in their 30s, okay? I think we didn't start until she was in her 30s. So comparison is the thief of joy. Don't compare yourself to other people and other people's successes and stuff like that.
one last thing I want to talk about. Let me put my lashes on real quick and I will come back and let's discuss why I cut my hair. Okay, so we have the lashes back on. I think I got these lashes from the beauty supply store for like $2, so y'all better go cop. But let's talk about why I cut my hair or how I ended up cutting my hair because truly it's not even why, it's how. So I was taking down my hair. I did a um, soft locks hair tutorial. Go check that video out as well. Oh, I can't stop looking at myself. I look so good. I was taking down my soft locks and uh, what had happened was I was taking it down safely. Like I was even going to film how I take it down because I have a friend that wanted to see how I took that hair down and I was taking it down safely. Now where I messed up <laughs> is when I I separated my own hair from the the fake hair. Instead of me to look in the mirror and make sure that I'm not gonna cut my own hair because like I separated it but the way I was doing it there was a chance I could cut my own hair. So instead of me to look in the mirror, I was watching a movie. I think I was watching The Matrix or I was watching Euphoria. I think I was watching Euphoria or something. And come to find out, I snipped <laughs> and it was my hair. So I cut a piece of my hair right here. I will show a picture of what it looked like. And I was like, Ugh. I could technically be okay because it's just one like section of hair, even though it was in the front. I would have been fine. However, I was like, let's just cut everything off. Backstory, I grew up the first eight of the first eight years of my life without hair so it's not like this is the first time ever that i haven't seen myself without hair i grew up without hair so but that was a long time ago i'm 23 years old now and that was a while ago so it's like yeah i i grew to have somewhat of an attachment with my hair i also cut my hair because once i grew my uh my hair in 2013 i was like oh i want to go natural because i kept perming my hair and my hair grew back or my new growth would be so thick that I, will, I was just getting annoyed. So in 2013, I also snipped my hair and then I grew my hair natural. But let me, let me finish this and then let me talk to y'all. Um, I snipped it off and I really questioned myself. I was like, why don't I just chop everything off? Like I'm low key sick and tired of doing hair. Um, I love natural hair, don't get me wrong. Natural hair is so beautiful. However, it sometimes is some work to take care of. Now I wake up and I just go, literally, I just wake up and I go. So I was like, why not? At first, I literally was gonna leave like at least this much hair. So I was like snipping off um, the soft locks cause I was like, there's no point. Then I started taking it down and then I was like, this is about to take too long, there's no point. So then I snipped it from the root. Um, if you haven't seen the video, you can go watch the rest of the video. But the reason why I ended up doing that was just, in that moment, I was like, why not? Initially, I was a bit sad because I had somewhat of an attachment to my hair. But now, like, you see this new growth, right? I want to shave this hair off right now. I'm talking to y'all. Like, I want to shave this off. I don't like seeing hair on my head right now. And I feel like the ball just looks so much better so far even though it's been i think it's been about two weeks so far with having short hair i had to go shave a bald again because i wanted to take pictures so this is one week of growth um so far i think what i have noticed is that like because i don't have anything on my head or hair i appreciate my face i appreciate the structure of my face i appreciate my beauty so much more with makeup and without makeup i feel so much confident just having this hair because it's like i don't got hair all you want to see is my face and um i'm still beautiful without so without hair so can't nobody let me tell you this let me, let me tell you this if i look good without any hair what can someone tell me truthfully speaking give me two i'm gonna give you two seconds to write in the comments what someone can tell me if i look good without hair so and hair is hair hair can grow back i can throw on a wig in two seconds and i'll look fine but this is such a self-liberating journey. It's teaching me a lot so far. And <laughs> on top of that, I'm getting so many compliments. I'm giving people the idea to cut their hair now. That's on your own. But I think, and I was talking to my friend, I'm like, somebody, everybody has to at least shave off their hair once in their lifetime just to experience it. Like, your hair gonna go back. If you shave it right now in 10 years, it's gonna go back. Like, so it's just such a self-liberating journey for me. The journey I'm excited to take myself and you guys on. 
I'm going to try so many different hairstyles. I am going to try color. And to be honest with you, I am going to be in nursing school and I'm not going to have time for my hair. And so this, something that's like this is going to be just so easy to do. With that being said, this is the end of the video. This is how my makeup turned. This is my go-to makeup now with my hair. I love it so much. Tell me this does not look good, you guys. Everything that I used will be in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the support on my channel. Make sure you guys are subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys so much. Bye, y'all.